back again with another girly coffee cup. How's everybody doing this morning? Uh, it's cold outside. I think tomorrow's supposed to be warmer, but it's snowing. Maybe it's not snowing here yet, but it's snowing up north here in Oklahoma. So, what's going on, everybody? I'm going to share this stream real quick. How y'all doing this morning? I don't hardly ever share this stream to my regular uh, Stephen Knuckles page, so I'm going to share it so maybe some, some of my regular people will see it. Good morning. All right. How's everybody doing this morning? Y'all know how we do it here. Coffee with Knuckles. Good morning. Good morning, Spencer. Who is super cold. How, how cold is it where you guys are at? Morning from Omaha. It's so cold out there, right? Who's up? Who's up north? Is it is it colder up north? Thank you, Daniel, for following. If you're uh, if you're just here, what I need you to do right now is smack that like button like a whole bunch of icicles that you're knocking off your house. Because it's cold. Morning, Cassie. 12 degrees, Spencer said. Let me share this. If you guys are here, man, share the stream for me if you don't mind. Try to get some people in here. Yeah, whatever, we'll just post it in a couple places. <laughs> I don't even know like any of these groups that I'm part of anymore. Thank you, Memory. Thank you, everyone, for liking the stream. Uh, it's Friday. Today, uh, the Pokemon game came out last night. So me and my uh, me and my son Jacob went and did the midnight release. I uh, got Pokemon Violet, Pokemon Scarlet for him. So he was excited. He got up this morning and played before school. So uh, I've seen a lot of people complaining about the game online so far, but it looked like he was having a good time. So good morning from the giant redwoods in Humboldt County. Mm, thank you, Cassie. Yeah, he started playing, so my son started playing Violet first. And the storyline was pretty cool right away. Uh, legendary Pokemon got hurt, fed him a sandwich. <laughs> and then he got up, so it was cool. <laughs> Morning, Jason. My beautiful wife is in law school today, doing her thing. Morning, Jesse. Yeah, so look at me. I was able. I, I literally did coffee with Knuckles Monday through Friday this week. Are you guys happy? Good morning, Mia in Chickasha. Morning, Jeremiah. Morning, everybody. Morning, Craig. How y'all doing? Thank you, Jesse. I appreciate that. I hope you have a good day, Bubba. The cold up there? I guess it's always cold up there, right? Morning, Eddie. Everybody seems to always like my set up behind me but this is a uh, this is literally just my garage <laughs> morning Ryan from from Australia so what time is it there is it afternoon or evening I love all my Australian fans I have a ton of fans in Australia if I ever get a chance to tour Australia I know people will be at the shows uh, morning last shot over on the YouTube channel thank you everyone who's joining on the YouTube channel thank you for anyone who shows up on freaking twitch You know, I still don't know what I'm doing over there. But I got about the next month, I got December to figure this all out in Attack 2023. Try to make myself profitable on my own <laughs> and pay the bills. So, yo, Desmond, what's up, bro? What you doing today? You want to make some music? Uh, 
be making music today. I got interrupted yesterday trying to make music. 10.30 at night in Australia? Holy cow. Well, it is 8 a.m. here, sir. 8.37. Hey! Memory Nix, thank you for the 50 stars. Thank you to anyone who donates their hard-earned money to me. You definitely don't ever have to do that. I <laughs> said, trying to watch on both. So here's something I haven't checked. Are the streams at a different like rate? Like is one ahead of the other? Uh, it should be Knuckles Rap. I'm at Knuckles Rap on everything. Hold on, my beautiful wife is texting me from school when she should be learning. I love you, beautiful wife, if you watch this back later. Yeah, she's a super hard worker. Dude, I'm so proud of her. Creaker Mariah, what's up? Dude, you and me, I know you want to do an interview. We got to get this done. Uh, I, I, I could probably do one today. Camo Steve, morning brother. I appreciate everybody stopping by on the YouTube channel this morning. It's funny how that works. Some days Facebook will be popping, some days YouTube will be popping. That's why I stream to, I'm hoping someday maybe Twitch will even be popping. <laughs> and I would, I still can't Twitch, I still can't stream to uh, TikTok. I don't even have a thousand followers on TikTok. I just hate TikTok. I don't like 15 second videos. I like documentaries, like, I like to read still too. Yo, morning George, how you doing Bubba? George made one of the best videos ever to Cowboy Loose and Shorts. Thank you, Mariah, I appreciate it. I appreciate the effort, I've been seeing you out there grinding, doing the interviews, doing the reactions. I see you getting some love this morning from Kaylin Curtis. Like, that's cool. It's good to see. I love to see people reaching out and, and trying to help, you know, people get started. And in, in, in anything helps our genre, you know, honestly. So that's why I always try to promote. I try not to promote drama. In the, you know, I mean, if you suck, I don't, I'll don't. i tell you if you suck. You know what I mean? But I just don't have any, like, beef with anyone in the genre because I like representing country rap. Like, I am country rap. And I'm fine with that. I, I, I like that. I don't, I don't want to pretend I'm anything I'm not. Oh, dude, if everybody is just getting here and you missed it, right now I need you guys to smack that like button like a row of icicles hanging on your house. Your niece is six years old and her favorite song is Cowboy Boots and Shorts. Tell her I said thank you so much. My tiniest fans are my favorite fans. Mariah, I, so I'm not working with New Breed and Jesse yet. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to. Uh, they're always busy. New Breed told me to come through, but I, I haven't had a chance to talk to him yet since then. Uh, but I have a song coming out with Nunrilla real quick, and then I told Hitman to send me something. I'd hop on another another track with him. Me and Hitman have a... I said we need a song that's not so depressing to sing to, when we do shows together, because like the song we have is for our fathers who have passed on, so it's real deep and good, but... Um, what's convenient for me? Um, find my phone number <laughs> and just text me because that's, I, I'm terrible at messaging. I, I don't hardly ever get on IG. Blue cook, blue cookies. Oh, uh, this is gelato. And I always let it go out because I'm talking to y'all. Yeah. Gelato and my, this is the, it's like maple pecan or butter pecan or something. It's it's a really good coffee. I don't know. I like, I like coffee. When I was in a, when I was in prison, I was at this one facility when I was on my, working my way down. I had left like the max facilities. I was at this uh, drug offender program and, and, uh, the, I was, one of the counselors drank this, what was it, it was hazelnut, he drank this hazelnut coffee, 
and like I was his office orderly for a while. So like that was my job. And like I cleaned this dude's office basically. But he'd be like, Knuckles, you want a cup of coffee? And I'd be like, hell yeah. Because, like, we had keefy coffee. Like, we didn't have real drip coffee in prison. It was just instant. So he had this gourmet fucking, man, I get one of those cups of coffee, dude. I'd, I'd go sit in the back and all my buddies would be like, yo, yo, you got the good coffee? Let me get a sip. Let me get a sip. <laughs> so then when I got out, like, I, like gourmet coffee was something I, I started liking. So... Cowboy Boots and Shorts is on the daily playlist. I appreciate that. Mariah says she's keeping up. Justin popped up. Yo, me and Justin, shout out to Justin, man. A, a, a lot. Justin gets so much hate, but every time me and Justin have kicked it, he's been nothing but real with me from the very beginning. From the very first time we spoke, he literally video chatted me because he didn't want us talking on social media because we were having a, a discussion on social media and it, it looked like we were arguing over some stuff and he didn't want that. My wife had commented too and he was like, I don't want you to think that I was trying to talk bad to your wife on the post or anything. So I just wanted to talk to you. So he, 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 he literally sent me a friend request and video called me and we chatted for like 20, 25 minutes the first time we talked. And ever since then, we've talked a lot and all through a lot of the hate and stuff, all through watching country rap facts drop and stuff like that. Like I didn't ever, ever judge that dude on any interaction except what he had with me. And then ever since then, now, like we've hung out several times, we've done shows together, I partied at his, at his house, at his pool party, like, and he's solid. Like, this motherfucker literally woke me up in North Carolina at, like, 2.30 in the morning. Like, came into my trailer, like, kicking the doors off the hinges, like, asking for dabs and fucking paper towels. And he t took our bottle of honey whiskey and, like, <laughs> ate all the pizza that was on the counter. Like, bro, it was lit. Like, and he woke me up and we ended up staying up for the rest of the night. I was like... My wife's silly. <laughs> well, I love you, beautiful. Can't taste the difference in coffee. So, um, I, you know, it, it's a fine, well, that's why it's got to be some good gourmet coffee. Like, like cheap flavored coffee tastes cheap. Everybody's saying they love you, beautiful. spelled it yeah mafia mud fest okay mod what does mod mean is that oh i can make you like a chat moderator right on my youtube channel i can do that if anybody else wants to be a moderator of chats i don't know how we do that shit uh, i don't know if i can do that on my facebook page but that would be cool I know I can give you guys moderator privileges in my in my fan group. So if anybody that is a loyal fan on here, like you guys are that, that come every day, would like to be a moderator in my fan group and help keep the spam out of it and just keep it about music things. I don't I don't care if people post stuff, but I hate when people post spam in there, you know. So I don't mind people I don't even mind people posting things to get re likes and shit that's like what's your favorite color? I, I don't care. But I don't like when they post links to, to broken things and stuff like that. So it would be cool to have some people. So if anyone's interested, let me know. Teresa, yeah, you guys send me. And if anyone doesn't have my actual friend page, like or what my profile, you guys can send me a friend request. Steven Knuckles, it's N-U-C-K-O-L-L-S. And and look for the, the second one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't use the one with the most followers anymore because it's been banned forever from posted videos. So the, the actual second one is the one I use. Morning, Jana. You guys like my grilly coffee cup? Everybody always comments on my grilly coffee cups. And I say, of all the coffee cups we've been given or and gifted and stuff like my girls are the biggest ones like <laughs> like my wife has big coffee cups all the coffee cups i have are tiny haha <laughs> okay yeah yeah i wouldn't mod just anyone well but in my fan group i don't they're really the only power they have is like delete people and shit I don't know. I don't know what the powers are on YouTube. I, I don't have anybody who moderates at all. Oh no, Streamlabs just 
glitched. I hope I didn't lose y'all. So, Mariah, I am I am streaming to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch at the same time. My I stream to three platforms at once. So that's why I'm talking to people that you can't see because uh, you're on YouTube and I'm responding to people on Facebook too. Or and sometimes people on Twitch. I yesterday or was it the day before we had a disabled veteran over on Twitch joined us and he was my first like real Twitch viewer who's commented in several things. Okay. It looks like stream's still fine. Haha. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Yo, so I'm curious. There's a bunch of you guys here right now. Tell me what platform do you listen to music on? Like, what is the platform? There's 20 people viewing. If, if half of you answer, then I'll get a good selection. Uh, I, I'm curious out of 10 people, 10 random viewers here, what music platform do you guys listen to the most? Because I'm about to attack platforms in 2023. I'm going to do some contests where if everybody downloads all my albums. Like, I don't even want you to pay for them. So if you have like Apple Music, you can just download them or you can send them to Spotify or whatever. But if you do all four of my albums, then you'll be entered into a, a drawing. I'm going to try to do like a big merch pack and a cash giveaway. My man said Napster. Kevin says he barely ever listens to music. That's fair. I'm glad you catch me on here. Always use YouTube. YouTube seems to be... Well, no, I, I sell my CDs. I'm saying I, that's not that's not the point. What what I'm wanting to do is, if I could get everybody to download and purchase at the same time, then it will cause my music to jump up in the in the charts, and then more people will see it. Uh, it will raise it in the algorithms, and then more people will see it. It's a strategic thing. Like I can spend five hundred dollars on a giveaway. And if all you guys actually download my stuff and add it to your playlists and, you know, 200 people do that, then that will, that will crazy jump my music in the algorithm, you know. So that's why I'm just curious, like, who uses YouTube, who uses Facebook, who uses, who actually uses music services like Spotify. I see a, a lot of you guys are just saying, like, Facebook, YouTube. So not a lot of performance services. Jeremiah did a bunch of shows in Kansas this last year. Well, not a bunch, but a couple. And um, my guy Keyboy, who is in Kansas, who's a great artist from up there in Hutchinson, me and him have a whole album we'll be dropping together very soon. We're five songs in already. And uh, he's because he's from Kansas, we'll be doing shows next year in that area. We're going to be doing a little tour together. Yeah, artists do deserve more. Vehicles don't have CD players anymore. Yeah, yeah. So the reason I sell CDs is because people hang them on the wall. Like I sign them and, and hang them on the wall. Like people people still buy CDs at shows because they, they want to sign a piece of your merch and they want to support you. Sometimes it's not even about uh, it's not even about the music to the person. It's about them wanting to support you. It's the same reason people buy T-shirts, you know. Uh, some people want to hang that up. Okay, Mariah, I got you. Morning, Jason. Oh, Jeremiah, you live right outside of Hutch. Yeah, so look up Keyboy. K-E-Y-B-O-Y. I know that seems obvious, but uh, yeah, Keyboy, he just toured with Overtime three or four times. Me and him did a tour. No, wait, don't download yet. Wait for me to do the contest if you're going to download my music. <laughs> 100 vinyls at $100 a piece. That's it. that's incredible marketing. Uh, who was it? It was um, what's the dude that has the song with Yellow Wolf been a problem? Caskey. Uh, yeah, Caskey dropped the hundred dollar mixtape or something like that. Like he sold the album for a hundred dollars, and he only he only printed like ten thousand of them or something, and he sold out like right away because it's a limited piece of thing. Like and and your real fans will spend a hundred dollars to have a limited piece of something from you. And these days the internet makes it so easy for us to to oh, to pass stuff on. <laughs> Thank you, Mariah. Thank you, Nicole, for sending your hard-earned stars. How are you this morning? 
thank you so much. I appreciate everybody who comes through and supports, uh, but I super appreciate people who donate stars. You don't ever have to give me any of your earned, hard earned money. It's the same thing I'm saying. Like people who buy my CDs, they buy because they want to. Uh, I tell everybody you could stream all my music. I have like 60 songs on iTunes. I have like 30 music videos. I have, you know, all my music's on. I have probably more music on YouTube because I have lots of like freestyles and stuff that I never actually put out on iTunes or anything like that. When is my music coming? I have tons of music out, but if you want to find my music, the easiest way to find my music is to just Google Knuckles Country Rapper or at Knuckles Rap and you can find me pretty much anywhere. Uh, the hard thing about my name being Knuckles, though, is that if you Google Knuckles, obviously, you know, Knuckles come up. Brass Knuckles, the thing, comes up. Knuckles from Sonic comes up. So I have to battle those. So Knuckles Country Rappers is where it's at. Hey, Nicole, thank you for more stars. Yeah, I, I puff, puff past it until it was gone. So is anybody on here? Yes, you collect merch. That's dope. See, that's the thing. A lot of people, I, I, I've sold a lot of merch specifically for for that reason, I've signed lots of things that, dude, at that, here's a story from uh, the Mafia Mud Fest. Oh my goodness, hold on. My back's hurt. I gotta work out as soon as we get off here. Pokemon game day at my house, too, bro. We got Scarlet and Violet. Wait, your name's Fernie. You might be a girl. I just realized that I, I'm calling you a guy. I apologize for that. I gender people, and my wife tells me I have to stop that shit. And I just can't help it. I apologize. I did uh, I did five years in prison. <laughs> and it, so it's, it was just dudes, you know, like, so I'm like, I do it everybody. Like, and she hates that shit. Uh, so the, it's Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet are the two. Snowing in Wisconsin. Shout out to my guy, Chris Canson from Wisconsin. <laughs> okay, so I was going to tell this Mudfest story about merch that people want to get signed. So, uh, Justin Time flew in from friggin' Indiana, I'm guessing. No, from Ohio, because he moved. Yeah, he, fl he flew from Cleveland to North Carolina for the Mafia Mudfest show. And when uh, one of the guys had to go pick him up from the airport, we were like, dude, it would be hilarious uh, if we put five times on something, because he was just real big on the, the, like I'm just talking about, where he had all five of his albums charting on iTunes at the same time simply because he asked all of his people to buy them at once and his people came through which big shout out to him for that and his fans but yeah we had got this big pizza box the night before we had bought like pizza boxes that had like the three things in it you know so we got this big pizza box and we he wrote five times on it and he like held it up and like did like a live video when he was picking Justin up then at the end of the thing he wanted everybody to sign <laughs> sign it so it was cool so he was going to take this pizza box sign home and all the artists had signed it i signed it justin signed it Marcotic signed it like it was dope so it, it was an interesting piece of merch to take home i guess you know if you want to call it that memorabilia i think would be a better word yo savage capone morning brother thank you nicole for donating stars again yeah yeah so mafia mud fest was dope uh, it was a good time uh like i said all right, Jeremiah, be good. Have a good day. Like I said, Justin was great. Uh, my guy Chris Conson was there, and we rocked on his on his buggy. Uh, Sill was there with his buggy. There were a couple other buggies. We had a lot of big, big mega trucks, May TVs. It was a it was a lot of a lot of fun. You know, it was a good time. My first East Coast show, so I was excited about that. I didn't plug in my computer. Hold on, guys, don't move. <clears throat> All right, now we're good. I can see my MacBook was getting low. I, always, I used to stream more in my studio, but now that I've got this set up out here and it looks so cool, I've just been streaming in here. I need to get me a light better for my face so I don't get drowned out by that light behind me. And then I can turn that light out behind me. Uh, Fernie Purple, yes. I'm on YouTube. If you type in at Knuckles, like Knuckles, K-N-U-C-K-L-E-S, R-A-P, at Knuckles Rap, uh, I'm on YouTube. Yeah, that's my at name. Now, I'm super happy that they have at names on YouTube now because they didn't, and now they do. So I'm at Knuckles Rap on every platform. So Instagram, uh, TikTok, Facebook, to even Twitter, at, at Knuckles Rap. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I have cool music. I have lots of music coming out. I don't know if you listen to country rap. 
if you listen to country rap, I have some music coming out with a lot of bigger artists. I'm about to drop a song with FJ Outlaw, about to drop a song with Nunrilla, about to drop a song with Catfish Cooley, about this whole album coming with Keyboy. Uh, I'm working with the Naughty Northern. He just sent, matter of fact, he just sent me a verse that I haven't, I haven't even sent, heard the whole thing yet. Morning, Jason. That's my bro right there. He's got some of my, when I was just talking about memorabilia, uh, Jason actually got one of my hats signed by Ryan Upchurch at an event that me and Church were doing together. And Church told him that he thought my hat was cool. So like Ryan Upchurch liked my merch. I thought that was cool. Ha ha. That's funny. Shout out to Adam Calhoun. You have to do it while you're live on YouTube. Okay, let me figure this out. Can I do it? Wait, do I have to do it from, hmm. I'm going to my channel right now. So can I do it in the stream? Done. All right, cool. Super simple. <laughs> Yo, Jason, that would be dope. So I thought about that. Um, I, I'm glad I didn't because the country rap tour got canceled. But I was, or that show, I was supposed to open for Adam and Demon and Broadnax and Dusty Lee in Indianapolis. But that show ended up getting canceled because Adam got sick. They, they, well, they didn't get canceled. They got rescheduled for later. And I ended up not being able to make it for the rescheduled date. Uh, but my plan was to take my, I have a flag. Uh, that hangs in my studio, uh, an American flag, and it's signed by Upchurch and says, Holler Boys for Life. You know, I got it from when he was there for Oklahoma City. We got to hang out for two days. Like, and he was just the coolest dude, like just straightforward from the moment he said, what up, skin, until he left. Like, he was just honest, regular dude. Morning, Donnell. Morning, Tiffany. Yeah, I got you, Mariah. I already did it. <laughs> yeah, Church is super cool, man. Uh, shout out to him. I definitely... Where do I live? I am from Oklahoma. I live in Lawton, Oklahoma. And my wife attends the, the University of Oklahoma School of Law. And she is going to get her Juris Doctor from there. Which, we got one more year and she'll be done. It's been a long time. It'll be eight years of school that she's completed when she finishes. Yeah, yeah, Shady 580. Morning, Tiffany. Yeah, Jason Sims, I'm telling you, Church is just a cool dude, man. Just, like I said, uh, super cool. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for the help. Yeah, so you just, well, I'll sit down with you and do the interview, let me know. Yeah, and I appreciate everyone's support. Like, I literally couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I don't even think I would try to do this if if I didn't have the support that I have now of fans. Because when I started doing this, man, I've been doing this since 2014. Like, really putting music onto iTunes and stuff. I have YouTube videos from 2014. I have songs produced by Eddie Robinson back in 2015. Like, I've been doing this for a long time. All right, Jason. Enjoy work, brother. Nathaniel, can I come over for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing for Thanksgiving yet because I don't keep up with that type of stuff. My, my wife does. Have I met Jelly Roll? I have not met Jelly Roll. Uh, lots of my people around me, of course, have. I have not. I, I would love to meet Jelly Roll. We got out of prison the same year. I've been following Jelly since he had, like, just like a regular Facebook profile, like, I don't even know, like, like, I, I got a buddy, King Cold, who's got, like, three songs with Jelly Roll, and he paid, like, a hundred dollars a verse, because that's how long ago he got the verses from Jelly Roll, like, yay, Jersey Kitten, she's awesome, she's my favorite thing, I talk about her too much, I guess, sometimes I annoy people. I don't know if she annoys people with me. I wonder if, like, everywhere she goes, she's like, Knuckles is my husband. 
Because, like, when I first, she's seen me, like, start this shit and have nothing but haters. Like, I literally had a whole website that hates me here in Oklahoma. To where I am now, to where I have real fans, people literally listen to my music and support me. And, like, it's, it's, it's different, you know. It's been a long time, I guess. And, like, like I said, just wait until you see some of these features I got coming. Me and FJ Al got a crazy song. Didn't I do a little kid's song? I, I do have a little kid's song. That's a, that's crazy that you know that, bro. That's some real fan shit. Um, yeah, it's called The Hoedown, and I did it during COVID. Uh, what was the song my kids were, my kids were playing this stupid song constantly. Oh, oh, we got a bot. We got a bot, guys. Hello, Jessica Allen. Hello, dear. How are you doing? I seem like a nice lady. Worth talking to, being your friend. Hope you don't mind us talking on Messenger so we can get to know ourselves better. If you don't mind, kindly send me a friend request. Thank. <laughs> oh, good morning, Spambot. Somebody, oh, so if, if someone was a moderator, they could block the Spambot for me. I always have to do it myself. Yes, December 9th, Bridgestone, Jelly Roll. <laughs> Thank you, Donnell. I try. I don't know if I'm awesome, but I try. So it's almost time for me to do a workout. My coffee's empty. Doobie's gone. It's time to work out. That's why you guys see me with my shirt off every day, because I'm always about to work out. No, I'm just kidding. I don't ever wear a shirt. This is like my worst trait. <laughs> it's from doing five years in prison. I never wore a shirt in there, because everybody's like always like flexed up. Like That's like the thing in prison. So... Oh, Jason. Bro, my condolences. I hope that your family has strength and support during this time. I said the robot trying to shoot their shot. Country Rap Symphony. No, I don't know what that is, but I need to check it out. <laughs> Bites is us. Yep, you're right. So, it's cool. I appreciate everybody who hung out the whole time. There was a lot of you guys. So much traffic. Uh, if I do some music later today, maybe I'll stream from the studio like I did and let you guys see some of the creative process. Yeah, the hoedown. Here we go now, it's the hoedown. It was great. <laughs> My kids loved it. We made it for, for dancing during COVID. Uh, and it was cool because my local newspaper picked it up. An algorithm. <laughs> but, all right, so I'm gone. I'm gonna go do my workout, take a shower and get ready for this day. Uh, I will holler at you